since we got the combi ticket, we get an entrance to the Blue Chair Museum, located inside the town. On the occasion of the centenary of the Rhine crossing in 1913, a museum was set up in front of the building of the former Zurstad Mannheim. The furnishings of the rooms, including valuable canvas wallpaper, tiled stoves and furniture were largely preserved. Marshal Vorwart or Marshal Forward live up to his name. In the first week of January 1814, under his command, about 50,000 soldiers, 15,000 horses, and 182 guns of the Silesian army crossed the Rhine from Kau. Within only five days and in the farther course of their advance, pushed back the Napoleonic troops, weakened after the Battle of Leipzig. It took all night for the troops to cross the Russian-built Pantsun Bridge. At the time, it was considered an extraordinary achievement and was an important step toward moving the battle into France and the final defeat of Napoleon. Gibhard Liberesh von Blücher, who went down in history as Marshal Vorwarts, thus contributed significantly to the fact that the Kingdom of Prussia was one of the victorious powers at the Congress of Vienna. Blücher had arrived in Kauk on New Year's Eve 1813, around 4 o'clock in the afternoon, where he set up his headquarters in the Inn Zurstad Mannheim. He resided in the magnificent private rooms of the Cliff family who owned the inn. Johann Daniel Cliff had the elegant Baroque palace built in 1780 by the court architect Franz Wilhelm Rabiliati from the Electoral Palatinate. In 1792, it was supplemented by a horseshoe-shaped courtyard which was partly built into the slate rock. The warehouses, storage rooms, and horse stables were located there. In the guest house, mainly skippers stayed overnight, waiting to pass the custom station at Kau. It became a museum in 1913, and since then, it is the destination of several thousand visitors every year. The entrance fee goes to the city because it is the bearer of the museum. From 2009 to 2013, the Blue Chair Museum was extensively renovated. Since its foundation on January 17, 1913, the Blue Chair Museum has only been able to survive because people have shown a great deal of commitment to its preservation and have gathered exhibits worth seeing. Unlike museums that are just rows of glass-covered cases, this one has the authentic atmosphere that lets visitors step back into a long gone time. The exhibits include pictures, a wide variety of original uniforms, weapons, and other documents from the Napoleonic Wars. From a tobacco box, a right hand glove, and other personal items of Blucher. There is also rings with the inscription, I gave gold for iron which Prussian patriots proudly wore during the Wars of Liberation. And finally, a thin-figure diorama shows how the Silesian army, under the command of Field Marshal Blücher, crossing the Rhine at Kaub with the Fats Grafenstein. So that's it for the introduction to the Blue Term Museum. Until next time, don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. Bye! So guys, if you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel. And feel free to comment. Hit the bell, hit the bell, hit the bell, hit the bell, come on guys, hit the bell! For notifications. And don't forget to share! And like!